Hi everybody, it's Dawn from Crafting on the Green. I hope you're well. Today I wanted to show you how to make this really fun card. Um, it's stamped using the Happier Than Happy stamp set, which is new in this year's annual catalogue, 2022. Um, what's fun about this card is it's got a pop-up centre and I think it's super cute. So I really wanted to show you how to make it. Um, so what we've got is I've got my card base and I've got a second, so this is the card base, this is the second sheet that we're going to use on the inside and then I've got a cut of the DSP, the um, Happy Forest Friends DSP that comes as part of the suite with these stamps and dies and uh, so the sizes are, this is your standard A6 card base, this sheet that we're going to use to pop on the inside and make our pop up this is five and five eighths of an inch by eight inches and this piece of DSP is five and five eighths of an inch by four inches so I'm going to start and make the pop up in the middle first of all so first of all I'm going to stick stick my DSP onto the card So the card that we're sticking inside is just a little bit shorter than um, than the A6 card size. And I'm going to stick this on the top section. Now it should fit snugly. Um, it doesn't matter if there's a little bit hanging over because it's going to be stuck on uh, onto the inside of the card anyway. So I'm just going to give this a good push down. Make sure when you put it on, normally I just glue around the edges, but this time you want to make sure there's glue on the inside as well um, because of how we're going to cut it, we don't want it coming loose. So, so if we do it like this, then I'm going to fold it in half so that that goes onto the inside. And what I want to do, I'm going to add a fox onto the middle. So I'm going to get my fox stamp. Um, I'm also going to add a tree trunk as well, a slightly different height. So I'm going to just grab a pencil. You can draw all over this outside, that's fine, because again, this bit's going to be stuck down. So I want my fox. What I'm actually going to do is take it off the block because it will be a little bit easier. So, and they will be going backwards, so don't worry too much about um, what way they're facing because he's actually going to be facing the other way when we've stamped and stuck him on uh, or is he no he's not he's going that side <laughs> he would have been going the other way if I was upside down right it's been a very long day I've been crafting all day so I want those to be about there so the fox I'm just going to go from roughly the middle of his legs and make a couple of marks and then from my tree trunk I'm going to do the same, but I'm just aiming for the, the middle. I don't want it to stick out of the sides. So we'll just pop those back on the block. Okay, now I'm going to grab my ruler. Now for the fox, I want his bit to be about three quarter of an inch long. Just like so. And then for the tree trunk, I want it just to be about three eighths long I don't want it to be as tall because then it will sit further in the distance if you see on here it's not quite as far out as the fox so once you've made your your lines you're just going to cut them again it doesn't matter if they're um, not perfectly straight but you do want to try and get them about the same length otherwise it's going to go wonky so I think I need that a little bit more. There we go. So now that we've done that part, what we're going to do is turn it round and you want to push these bits in. Now it can be a little bit fiddly just to get it at first. So try doing one before you do the other. And because this one is a bit shorter, it's going to be a bit fiddlier. So I'm trying to make sure that where I pinch it is right at the edge, just there. And then again, this side, I'm going to push it in and just pinch it, okay? And once you've got it pinched, you can basically fold it over and give it a good push. So I'm going to do the same on this side. It's a bit easier because it's bigger. You can hook your finger under it. Um, so make sure it's relatively straight. And again, 
give it a good push. So now we've got these little boxes that poke out and we're going to stick our characters onto the front of these. So we need our characters. So I've got a piece of, that's not the card I wanted, here we go, here's a piece of scrap card that I was cutting clouds out of earlier. And I'm going to use Cajun Craze for the fox. The great thing about these characters is you don't actually need to colour them in. Um, so they're nice and quick really. So I'm going to pop him hit there like that. And I'm going to use um, Early Espresso for the tree trunk, tree stump. Just like that. So the set does come with dies, but to be honest, when I'm just cutting out a couple of bits, I just tend to fussy cut. It makes it a little bit quicker for me. Uh, if I've got lots to do, then I get the die cutter out. So you just want to give it a, a die cut or a quick fussy cut, whichever one you prefer. There we go, and then again for the fox as well. I'm having so much fun with this set, it's absolutely gorgeous. You get the dies, you get the stamps, you've got the beautiful DSP. Um, you get some ribbon as well. Um, it's a really lovely suite. And you can probably tell by how much fun I've had making this card uh, that I'm probably going to have a lot more fun with it yet. Yeah? Got lots of ideas, not enough time in the day. Okay, there we go. So that doesn't take too long when there's only a couple of bits to cut out. So move those stamps to one side, bring back in our card inside, um, and I'm going to stick these on. So I recommend laying them on top first to see where they're going to cover. So I know I don't really want to pop any glue much too high up his back because obviously I want it to stick on there and not on the card. So I'm just going to pop it kind of in the centre and then we shall just pop him on there and let him dry and then again the same with the tree trunk so I only really want to go to the centre of the bottom on this one don't want to go too high up and you don't need masses of glue so don't worry that it's not completely covered um, it will be absolutely fine so I'm just going to pop that to dry for one minute and then we'll get that folded up and stuck in. So while that's drying, I've got here for the front of the card, which again is just a very simple stamping one, nothing particularly fancy. So I've got Cajun Craze for the background. I've got a piece of basic white for the foreground. Now I'm going to use Soft Suede and I'm going to stamp the bear. The bear's very cute, I think. I'm just going to pop him about there. Nice and easy, nice and quick, just what we like. And then I'm going to use Mossy Meadow for this kind of little grassy bumpy bit. Just to add a little bit of something else. So that can just go down there. And then I've got a couple of toadstools. Now to be a little bit different, what I'm going to do... You can stamp them all in one colour, but I'm going to try and do them in two. So you want to try and just line up, if you can, where the bottom of the toadstool is. And if you find that it's gone a little bit too high up, just take a baby wipe and just rub off a little bit extra like that. And then take, I've got real red here, so I'm going to do the same thing, but this time for the top of the um, the toadstool okay and I'm gonna sort of line that up it's not because it's a, um, a cling stamp and it's not a photopolymer it makes it a bit harder to line things up so I'm really not worried about the fact that it's not perfect um, I think that kind of just adds to it to be honest so again I'm just trying to line up the stamp there with the edge of the pad 
and again if you've got a little bit on which I tend to do just give that a little wipe to take the worst of it off and then we'll dip the top half in the ink as well so I'm kind of just trying to line up the bottom okay and we'll pop that on there as well so now we've got a couple of little toadstools as I say you can do it all in one color but personally I prefer to try and do do it in both so it gives it a little bit of definition uh, rather than them all being bright red and then finally I've got my stamp that says happier than happy for you which I think is a wonderful way of saying that you're so happy for somebody so I'm just going to do that in in black ink pop that on there like so and then the last thing we need for the front I've got a Sahara stand stamping right marker and I'm just going to add just a little hint of shadow underneath the bear just to make it look like he's not floating. <laughs> Something like that. So that's our front done. So I'm just going to stick it onto Cage and Cray's background. And for this, because we're not worrying about cutting into the centre, you can just go around the outsides if you want to. Pop that right on there like so. Try and make sure it's in the middle. And then we can bring back in this bit here. Now that our character should be stuck, I'm just gonna fold them over and just give them a, another good push. So you see they're still popping up as you want. Now we're gonna stick this onto the inside of our card. So I'm just gonna do one side at a time and I'm gonna make sure that I get glue all the way around these edges here we don't want it to come unstuck anywhere and then it helps if you fold the card first and then I'm just going to tuck that in we want to try and make sure it's lined up evenly something like that and then I'm just going to close it over on itself just like that and now the top half is in and do the same for the bottom again all around the in and out parts like that and I'm going to just close it down kind of pushing from the center outwards to try and make sure it's nice and flat and now we have our, our little pop-up characters so to finish off we just need to add our front to the card I've kept the front relatively simple because I think Whilst it's a nice front to the card and I'm very happy with it, I think uh, this card is all about the inside. So we'll pop this on here, hold it down for a minute. Because it's got the lumps and bumps from the inside, you might want to help give it a good squidge down because obviously it's not flat. Um, and there we go. We've got a really cute card with a very sweet pop-up inside. On the DSP, so there is a little difference, you can probably tell. Um, the DSP starts at the bottom all green and as it goes up you just get more and more trees. So the chunks follow how I've cut them. Um, so you could, because of the, the stamp sets, you could add some extra greenery uh, to pop in around the base of the trees. Um, but I think it's absolutely fine as it is, to be honest. Um, so yeah, there we go. Really cute little cards using the Happier Than Happy stamp set. Um, and the Happy Forest Friends DSP. Um, so there you go. Hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you give it a go. Pop-up cards are going to be my new current thing, I think. I'm having a whale of a time with them. Um, and uh, yeah, so if you like what you see, please subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so that you're notified whenever I put out a new video. I do try for at least one a week. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Bye bye.